Being teen knitwear uh, is a funny name for a bookstore, and I understand that. But when my family came to this country in the early 1950s, they'd been living in the refugee camps in Germany for five years. They'd survived the Holocaust and World War II before that. And when you came to the U.S., if you were an uneducated Jew and you needed a job, the one industry you could always find work in was the garment business. And my grandfather and another guy that he lived with in the refugee camps he was friends with um, eventually opened up a store called PT Knitwear. It was like 400 square feet. They sold sweaters. My dad said they had a lot of empty boxes on the shelves, so it looked like they had more inventory than they actually did. And then, you know, here we're 70 years later, and when I signed the lease for this space at 180 Orchard, I texted my dad and said, where was the store? And he told me, and it was like literally right around the corner from here. And I'm like, tell me the name again. And he, said, and he wrote p t Knitwear, but you can't name a bookstore p t Knitwear. So of course that solved it, that settled it. So uh, that's, that's been our name. And the idea is sort of honor the family and the community and the history of the Lower East Side. And hopefully we're, you know, through uh, creating some jobs here and the podcast doing anything free for them to use and the event space being free. and hiring top level people and paying them way outside the norm of the book industry. Um, hopefully all of that, you know, is a way to sort of say thank you to New York for giving us a chance.